right guys, well, I'm back today with a pretty interesting revolver. This is a Rossi chambered in 32 Smith & Wesson Long, and it's a kind of obscure revolver. You don't find these and see these too often, but I feel like I wanted to get one to the channel for two reasons. One, I really wanted to explore the 32 Smith & Wesson Long cartridge, even though it seems to be an outdated cartridge. I feel like there are still some places for it, and I do get a lot of questions about 32 revolvers. Also, I wanted to take a look at a Rossi revolver. Again, I get a lot of questions on my channel about budget and high value guns, and I feel like I haven't shot a Rossi revolver, so when I get questions, I can't answer them honestly. Now, this is a slightly older revolver, but this is kind of what I would recommend when you're looking at Rossi. You can find these in pawn shops for very reasonable prices. And that is what I wanna bring up. I wanna give a huge shout out to Beltway Gun and Pawn located in Matthews, North Carolina. These guys always help me out with credit on used guns so I can showcase a wide variety of guns. So a big thanks to them. They do have a wide variety of new and used farms. And if you tell them 704 Tactical sent you over, you'll get 10% off whatever you buy in their store. That is a pretty cool thing that Beltway Gun and Pond is doing. So a big thanks to these guys for helping me out with this Rossi. So they had a fair reasonable price on it. Uh, we did them some negotiating and you can find these for, you know, sub $300, even less depending on the condition. This one's in fairly decent shape, although I think it had some replacement grips with a crack. So what I did was I wrapped them in this tape right here, this medical tape for some cushion. It smooths out all the cracked edges and it kind of fills up your hand rather nicely. You can also do this with hockey tape, things like that. I'm always doing... <laughs> you know, budget and high value fixes to things so I don't have to spend more money on grips. The hockey tape and stuff does fine on something like this. Uh, the camo looks a little bit odd with this pattern, so I'll probably rewrap it in hockey tape later, but this is what I had at the range. So why would you want a 32 Smith & Wesson long cartridge? Let's start off with that, then we'll talk about the specs and features of this revolver and how it performed at the range. So to start off talking about that 32 Smith & Wesson long cartridge, I wanted to pair it up against a 38 special cartridge. You can see the diameter difference, the length difference, and the overall case dimension difference. So you can see that this is a slightly less powered round than the 38 special, and that is something to consider and the first reason why you would want a 32 Smith & Wesson revolver. If you're a little bit more recoil sensitive, this is going to be less felt recoil against your hands, and generally, even when you buy kind of a, a full-size revolver like this one right here, it's almost a little bit smaller than a snub nose 38. It just tends to, in my opinion anyways, with some of these older 32 um, revolvers, they just tend to be a little bit more narrow, a little bit lighter weight. And again, you can see it up against the Colt Detective Special. See the difference in size, yet this one holds six rounds in capacity. And this one holds six rounds in capacity. So you get the same capacity, but you get a much smaller and lighter weight revolver. So it's a little bit easier to carry. They even make a lot of snub nose versions like the Smith 31 and Model 30, chambered in 32 Smith and Wesson Long. But those can be pretty pricey since they're very collectible. This Rossi again comes in at sub $300. Honestly, sub 250. You can find these easily for under $250. Um, and I got mine under $250. This particular one, again, has a cylinder latch that you just press up. The ejector rod works smooth. It holds six rounds. The lockup is fairly decent on this revolver. The timing was great on this old Rossi, and it shot perfectly. So I feel like, guys, if you're looking for a slightly smaller revolver that holds six rounds and you're rather recoil sensitive, I do kind of like this Smith & Wesson 32 long cartridge. It still hit the steel pretty hard and I'm not a ballistic expert, but I feel like it would get the job done, especially up close. And six rounds is definitely better than the five rounds that a lot of the Smiths hold that are the same size. So you get about one extra round when it comes to the Smiths and the same round count when it comes to the Colt Detective Specials, but again, a slightly thinner, lighter weight, and smaller revolver. Some things I'm not a huge fan of this revolver is you kind of lose that front sight blade. Um, it's a really narrow sight setup, but that's to be expected in some of these older revolvers. 
And the other thing, I feel like this aluminum hammer and trigger look kind of cheap, but they function great. They work well. I had no light primer strikes. Everything functioned as it should on this gun. And it seems to be a pretty well-built little revolver for under $250 if you can find one used at a pawn shop somewhere like Beltway Gun and Pawn. So in summary, guys, I feel like this gives me another data point when I'm looking at revolvers and when people are talking about Taurus versus Rossi versus the Rock Island Armory, I now understand Rossi's revolvers a little bit better. And honestly, guys, I'm kind of a fan, especially at this sub $250 price point. This gun is also offered in 38 Special if you're not a big fan of the 32 Long. But I feel like this gun in 32 Long is pretty darn slick for a small concealable revolver, maybe a truck gun, a camp gun, a bug out gun, something like that. This is pretty slick. So I hope you guys liked the video and I hope it expands uh, your horizons on different types of revolvers out there. It expanded my horizons because I feel like I'm going to try to get another 32 Long revolver now because I like this one so much, but I'm going to try to get a snub nose version. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.